Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about how to check the logs for containers in Docker. So when we run a container, it will it will show a lot of information from the application that is running because it will publish a lot of logs. Uh, and usually when we run with a docker run command, uh, the application will show the, the logs immediately, but it will block the prompt. Uh, and this is a, not a desired uh, behavior because we are not allowed to do that when we use these, these deployments in a production environment. Let's say you are deploying a Kubernetes or another orchestrator uh, application and you need to find a way to, to see the logs without blocking any prompt or blocking any process. So I'm listing the images that I have in my system and I'm going to show you an example with this light application which is a Node.js uh, app. So I'm going to run it with a simple docker run and the image ID. And it will take some uh, seconds to display the logs. But as you can see, the prompt is locked. So I cannot uh, start typing any other command. And this is not a desired behavior. So I'm going to stop this now. Okay. And for for not locking the, the prompt, we are going to use the, the detach option for the docker run this way, docker run hyphen D. And I'm going to paste the image ID again. And as you can see, it will uh, give me the hash for this container. If I type docker ps, I will be able to see the, the container running. And if I want to see the logs, I need to use the docker logs command and paste the container ID. And as you can see, we have the same output than before, but we have the, the prompt free. This is a, this is the, the good thing for, for doing with, the, with this option. Uh, but also, this application is not giving me a lot of logs, but if I run the same way this sonar cube image in a detached mode, okay, I have the hash now. I'm going to do a Docker PS, have the container ID, and I'm going to see the, the logs as well. Docker logs and the container ID. This application will give me a lot of information because it is initializing a lot of processes in the background. And if I want to see those logs in the real time, we can use the hyphen F option. And as you can see, it's moving automatically while the application is starting up is showing a lot of logs which can help us to debug the application because uh, if we develop an application by using a proper log uh, a, a locker sorry a proper log app it will bring some errors in this um, in this column and it will be easier to troubleshoot any any problem Okay, this is all for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any comment. Stay tuned. Thanks.